Hey amigas, welcome back to my channel. My name is Niobe for those of you who are new and for all of my girlies returning. Hi friend, I miss you guys so much and I am so excited about today's topic. So you all have really been enjoying a lot of my videos regarding femininity. So I thought why not share my feminine hygiene routine and tips with you girlies because being a woman is so much fun, although it can be like a lot at times. You can feel like there's so much you have to get done, so much that you have to do in order to like feel feminine or like look apart. But I also wanted to give you all a gentle reminder that womanhood should be fun. Womanhood should be a journey that you enjoy that you wanna take your time with. So I'm gonna be talking about my feminine hygiene routine today, and I'm also gonna share a few tips that will help you feel more confident. I have really enjoyed the journey and still am enjoying the journey of like discovering my femininity and everything beautiful that comes into play when just curating and developing yourself as that woman that you wanna become. And so I really wanted to make this video today to help all my girlies out who are just now starting their journeys or they're midway through or they just feel like connecting with another woman who is also in her feminine journey. I was not taught a lot of things. I had to teach a lot of the stuff to myself. So don't ever feel like you know, like I wasn't taught these things, like it's gonna be harder for me or, or you know, maybe you don't feel like you can be feminine because you never saw it in the household. That is far from the truth. If you desire to be more feminine, then this video is definitely for you. Side note, I did a really bomb, foxy, brown, sexy, sultry makeup look today. And I actually had done this in a previous video and you all asked me for the tutorial. I will leave a link down below to the tutorial that I posted on TikTok. I just posted her so you guys will get a step-by-step -step routine on how I got this beautiful look. I break it down just so that all my girlies can really get into the fall spirit. Starting off with your scalp, I do love to detoxify my scalp because one, I had noticed a while back that I was like shedding a lot, just losing a lot of hair. And I didn't realize it was because my scalp needed to detoxify. I'm not gonna say that that is the main issue if you are experiencing hair loss, but I did notice that that did play a role as to why I was losing so much hair and also like me being such an active person like my scalp gets super oily and gets clogged and I can I start getting breakouts around my hairline so I do find a good charcoal detox scrub helps a lot I like to do that at least once every two weeks. So the scrub that I like to use is by Unwash Hair Care and it's called the Charcoal Detox Scalp Scrub. This is what it looks like. Smells amazing, smells like charcoal and mint, honestly. One of the best smelling detox masks on the market that I've smelled thus far. <sighs> smells so good, it literally smells like really good gum. I let it sit for about two minutes just so that it really penetrates into my scalp area and so moving on to my hair care i have like i said very curly hair and with curly hair hydration is literally your best friend when in doubt just get a hydrating shampoo a hydrating conditioner and an extremely hydrating leave-in conditioner i have been in love with the curl days shampoo and conditioner collection. I highly recommend them if you just want hydrating products to take care of your curls. I have been rocking with their collection for a little bit now, so I even have like their leave-in conditioner, their mask, um, and some oils as well. Okay, now let's talk about skin care. Skin care literally has to be like one of the most important important factors in feeling and looking feminine. Obviously, you need a skincare routine, duh, right? But we're not gonna hop into an entire skincare routine. I'm just gonna share some essential 
items that I love to use. My essential, essential, essential items in my skincare routine always consist of like serums. So three serums I really love to incorporate in my routine are vitamin C's, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. So starting off with my real hyaluronic acid, I use the one by Wellage. It is called the Blue Ampule 100 Real Hyaluronic Acid. This hyaluronic is very different from all the other ones on the market. It is medical grade and it has a very different consistency. It's very watery. I absolutely love hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is great if you need to just add that boost of hydration into your skin. So another serum that I really love to apply is vitamin C. Now vitamin C, child, I cannot go a day without applying vitamin C. Vitamin C is the most important serum of all the serums. Vitamin C helps with everything if you have wrinkles if you have hyperpigmentation if you want even skin vitamin c is that girl in the current vitamin c i am using is by belief it is called the super drops niacinamide golden glow serum and side note i actually really like to apply this under makeup because it gives your skin that like glowing within kind of look and last but not least, another serum that I highly recommend for you to start implementing into your skincare routine is niacinamide. So niacinamide helps with the appearance of your pores. It shrinks your pores. So niacinamide that I highly recommend is the one by The Ordinary. I think it goes for like $8. It's a great niacinamide. I think it's great for beginners. But the one that I'm currently applying religiously is by Use to the People, and this is called the Superfood Skin Drip. This contains kale, peptides, dandelion root, niacinamide, and postbiotics. That's kind of why I have been using this one over the regular niacinamide, just because I feel like I can get more skincare benefits out of this bottle. Of course we cannot talk about skincare without talking about sunscreen. Because what is the point of pouring all that loving care into your skin if you're not gonna put on sunscreen? Like, are you serious? Sunscreen protects your skin from the harsh UV rays. It literally is fighting off aging. It's fighting off dark spots. It's fighting off sunspots. I wear sunscreen every day. That's like the most important part about my skincare routine. Fuck makeup. Sunscreen is so fucking important. Even if you're wearing makeup, make sure you're applying sunscreen underneath. So I have two recommendations as far as sunscreens. Of course, I'm gonna go back to Paula's Choice and she's almost out. <laughs> but this is the Paula's Choice Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen SPF 50 for face and body. Really love her. I like this is my baby right here. Another one that I have been using, which I cannot find, is somewhere in the house. I just used her yesterday, so I don't know where she walked off to. But the one that I love to use is by Beauty of Joseon, and that is like a rice postbiotic SPF 50 sunscreen. It's very lightweight and has a creamy texture, which I really love. And it sits really well under makeup. Hey girly, so now let's talk about internal health because it all starts within and so a habit that i have had now for years is drinking chlorophyll water chlorophyll comes from plants and has this minty like smell to it i like to add a few drops into my water every day the current bottle of chlorophyll that i have is by now and this is a liquid chlorophyll i actually got this from whole foods although i believe they sell this on amazon as well chlorophyll helps to detoxify your body inside out and it assists with bad breath and body odor actually let's add some now to my water my favorite water at the moment is core i just feel like the level of hydration that i get is like unmatched i like to just shake that up and i will carry this with me throughout the day sometimes i'll add like a little bit of lemon into my water just to like 
add some more vitamin C. You also want to make sure that you are drinking as much water as possible. I know sometimes it can be like so overwhelming. You're like, oh my God, I'm just trying to survive life and be great. And now I have to drink like a whole gallon of water every day. Oh my God, I know, but try your best, okay? Like I know peeing every 30 minutes is so inconvenient, but <laughs> water influences you so much. It literally influences your behavior, your physical health, your mental health. There's so much that you get from just drinking enough water. It helps with your skin, okay? If you are breaking out, you need water to help your body flush out whatever's going on. Another reason you need to drink water is that if you are seeing signs of aging and just dryness around your face, it's because you are dehydrated. When I'm drinking the right amount of water, my mood is so different. I feel lighter, I feel better. I'm not experiencing brain fog. So now let's talk about oral care. Oral hygiene is extremely important. It's the first thing people smell when they talk to you. I'm making a face because there's been a few times where I'll talk to someone and I literally stop talking to them or make an excuse to like leave the situation because their oral hygiene is like not there. And it can affect your social life, your work life, your dating life. Oral hygiene is not to be played with, okay? You only get one set of teeth. You need to take care of your teeth. You'd be surprised how many people don't floss. There's no reason why at our grown age, we are not flossing. And it's very obvious when people don't floss because you will get these orange and yellow stains in between your teeth at the very top by your gums. It's not attractive, it doesn't smell good, and you are literally rotting your teeth. So I actually started using a water pick a few months back, which I have been having a lot of fun with. Like, I feel like a child when I use it because it just feels like I'm back at the dentist, and I used to love the dentist as a kid. I know, such an unpopular opinion, so, and there are different settings you can use. I love it. I actually, when I first got it, I would use it and spit out in a cup to see everything that would come out. So this is something I highly recommend. When once you get into the hang of flossing, if you don't already floss, definitely get a water pick. This is not a substitution for flossing. So I have been trying to find my favorite mouthwash and a mouthwash I have really been enjoying at the moment is called Oramare. This is what it looks like. I will leave a link down below to it. I'm actually almost out. I stopped using those like heavy, harsh, high in alcohol mouthwashes because they would just dry out my mouth. It would taste like absolutely horrible. Sorry, there's like a fucking gnat in here because plant mom problems. It just has a great taste to it and it's more on the natural side. It's not harsh. It doesn't have any heavy chemicals in it. So yeah, highly recommend it. You can get this on Amazon. I did get this at Marshall's. So if you're looking for a good deal and a good mouthwash, definitely head over to Marshall's because they seem to always have it in stock. All right, so let's talk about intimate care. So intimate care is very different for every woman because we all don't have the same pH. <laughs> and I don't know if you're like me, but I am very sensitive. Like anything will throw her off. So I literally have a very simple hygiene routine. I love to stick with gentle products such as C'est La Vie. C'est La Vie is this intimate care brand. I use their refreshing beauty mist as well as their hydrating cream. I love to apply those as soon as I step out of the shower. But when I'm washing up, I make sure not to get any soaps in my area just because it immediately throws off my pH and then I'm out of balance. Y'all know how that goes when your pH balance is messed up. It can just be like, ugh, so annoying, so uncomfortable. A lot of times I will literally just use water to clean up. I do use other soaps around my area, obviously, which we will get to in a second. All right, girlies, so let's talk about body hair. Oh my gosh. I really enjoy body hair. I really, really love it. Like, I am a girly who loves her good smells, who loves to exfoliate, who loves to shower all the time. I'm that girl. So I highly, highly, highly recommend exfoliating at least three to four times a week. That's what I do. The reason why I exfoliate so much is because one, like just 
the built up of oils and sweats and I have very curly hair and that goes for like the rest of my body so I like to make sure I can avoid any ingrowns so I like to go in with a bomb exfoliating scrub mind you I am not necessarily married to one scrub I like to just more so stick to certain scents I am a girly who really likes coffee vanilla lavender you know I really love those smells and a brand that I do really enjoy is tree hut I'm sure we've all heard of tree hut I mean they're pretty fucking iconic so the one that I'm currently using by them is vanilla Ugh, it's like heaven a body soap I absolutely love is by Dr. Broner's. Dr. Broner's is a very powerful soap. I highly recommend it. It's natural, it's strong, it's the real deal. Their tea tree soap is one I highly recommend if you are experiencing a lot of body acne. Mind you, it's super strong and it will dry you out. So I highly recommend having another soap that you can bounce off of on every other day so that your skin isn't like getting completely dried out. There has to be a healthy balance. So um, when I was experiencing body acne, look, the tea tree did the job each and every time. So I also really enjoy adding a really good gel wash to my routine. And I am actually completely and utterly obsessed with the one by Sol de Janeiro. This one right here. This one. You wanna screenshot this for later, okay? This is the Brazilian Play Body Wash. This smells absolutely amazing. It has like a vanilla pistachio scent to it. After I use my other body washes, I love to top my body off with this Sol de Janeiro body wash. Um, and I let it sit on my skin for about a minute just so the fragrance can really penetrate and I can smell luscious. I enjoy using the Polish Choice Weightless Body 2% BHA product. This is what it looks like right here. I'm actually almost out. And this is great if you want to exfoliate your skin, get rid of any texture, fight off body acne. This is absolutely great because I personally do experience texture on right here on like the top of my arms and I can get texture on my back from time to time from like just shampoos and conditioners sliding on my back. And this right here like lifts all that gunk and grime and dead skin and body acne right off. I was introduced to her years ago and she has not left my sight since. This is also really great if you are experiencing a lot of hyperpigmentation on the skin, on your chest, on your back, on your shoulders, wherever it's at. This is this does a great job with getting rid of that. But mind you, make sure that you are applying a good sunscreen the next day if you are exposing that part of your skin that this was sitting on the night before because again, your skin is doing its best to keep up with your skincare regimens and this has BHA in it and you don't want your skin to get irritated when it's like in direct sunlight. So I do highly recommend applying this only at night and wearing sunscreen if you are exposing that area. So let's talk perfumes because I absolutely love my perfumes. I never leave the house without spraying myself. Like I just feel like there's always something missing if I do not apply a beautiful scent on my skin. I, at the moment right now, have a few scents that I am enjoying. And the first scent I really love and I'm running out of, I'm literally down to the last few drops, is by Burberry. This is Goddess. This has been literally my favorite perfume of the years. I also have been using this Flower Bomb Tiger Lily by Victor Rolf. This is what she looks like. She smells really good. I really love how the bottle looks as well. And I actually got her in PR. I also really love Valentino. I forgot the name of this one, but this is what it looks like. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. And although those are luxury perfumes, I am still utterly obsessed with Sol de Janeiro's perfume. Like, this 
scent, this brand just has such a great palette. Like I am honestly obsessed with their perfumes. This is their pistachio and salted caramel perfume. I spray this everywhere. I spray this in my hair. I spray this on my arms, my legs on my neck. Well girlies, I hope you enjoyed my feminine hygiene care routine and all these beautiful tips I shared today. I hope that it helps you walk in your confidence, embody your femininity and all that. This journey should be a fun one. It should not feel like a chore. Womanhood is to be celebrated. Your feminine journey is to be enjoyed. So I really want you guys to take what you learned today Create a lifestyle out of it. Don't make it something you feel like you have to do. This, if you're not having fun, there's like absolutely no point in even investing into it. So girlies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any tips you wanna share or even product recommendations that you highly recommend, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the Familia and let me know what you guys wanna see from me next. I'll talk to you girlies very soon. Bye.